Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So last night, uh, Greece defaulted on their loan to the uh, IMF, so no funds uh, went across there, widely expected, uh, becoming the first developed country to do so, and now join the ranks of Zimbabwe, Sudan, and Sudan, sorry, and um, the Mother African nations as well. So what we're kind of seeing across the, across the board is kind of a stabilization of the drop, but everything just kind of moving in a sideways action just now. A last minute deal apparently before the referendum on Sunday um, is still on the cards. Um, the latest opinion poll coming out of, uh, of Greece actually places it very, very close um, with actually a little bit more bias on the no bailout group. Now, there's been people rioting on the streets at, at night, two different groups of demonstrations as well, some pro-EU, some uh, anti Um So it'll be very interesting to see how things kind of pan out, and certainly most other global uh, global markets now are just kind of steadying the course and waiting to see what happens next. But the US 30 trading between two ranges, 17.561 as potential support, 17.747 as, uh, as potential resistance, and in the middle of two ranges right now, with, um, with two distinctly uh, quite tough technical candles posted yesterday and the day before. Now, we only just started today's session. Uh, the US market is slowly ticking up, but it doesn't look like a, a very strong rally, to be honest. Moving on to the UK 100, um, trading below potential support at 65.89. Um, Longer term potential support at 64.15. Um, obviously, all, all the technicals there are. They're neutral, bending down to bending down to negative, um, but we do have a tweezer bottom here with the two candles, um, where you've had two instances of strong selling, pretty much both down at 6,500, and uh, we've had a, quite a strong bounce to the upside. So um, that will be an interesting level if the, U, if the UK 100 comes back down to there in the future. We bounced off there strongly twice, so it'll be interesting to see if we get a third time. But uh, if you're looking at the UK 100, you're probably looking at uh, 65.90 as a potential resistance level. So broken support, now expected to act as potential resistance. And uh, if we can get above there, then we can stabilize and then re-challenge 66.86. Moving on to Japan. Uh, Japan um, managed to get a positive day yesterday, bouncing off potential support at 20,087. <clears throat> We're at the top end of the range already today, which also coincides with that 21 period SMA. Um, a lot of the other technicals are neutral <clears throat> and the longer term potential Resistance is at 20,868. And we move on to dollar yen 122 and change, uh, consolidating around about uh, the potential support level 121 spot 87. Um, some decent data actually coming out of Japan uh, over the last couple of days, uh, but we're getting very close now with this uh, 55 period SMA moving up in tandem each day that we're posting uh, a kind of a consolidatory uh, candle pattern. We're getting the 55 period SMA coming up closer to potential support 121.87. And as I said, the technicals are relatively neutral right now. So moving on to West Texas crude. <coughs> um, we actually had quite a strong day yesterday, uh, but as you can see, the tip of the candle failed to break 59.50, level we've talked a lot about when looking at West Texas, uh, and it's failing again this morning. The dollar is uh, gaining momentum versus the sterling and the euro, and that's probably pinning uh, West Texas down. Obviously, it's a global demand story that's really pushing that down. Um, if we get a strong rebound, if there's any deal in Greece, expect crude oil to get a little bit of love as well. So m looking at gold, uh, gold not really benefiting at all from its safe haven status. Uh, it didn't really do much on, on Monday, instantly. Um, it failed to break through 11.86. Uh, and it's drifted down again yesterday, and today is not doing a huge amount either. So as you look at the longer term trend, it's still grinding lower. Um, but I guess you know, things haven't really necessarily changed that much in regards to the US with uh, with interest rates and uh, the strength of the dollar, though I'm guessing policymakers are trying to see what happens with Europe first to see if it's going to have a crimp on global demand or not. Obviously, everybody says it won't, but we'll have to wait and see uh, when the next round of macroeconomic data figures come out in the next couple of months, the real impact of that Greece uh, issue and if there is, in fact, any contagion. So looking at uh, your dollar, uh, we had probably one of the biggest intraday rebounds ever on uh, euro dollars uh, history on Monday, gapping much lower only to finish up actually above this close. Negative day yesterday, we're down again today, uh, also trading below both moving averages and one spot 11 is that uh, pivot that we talked about. Uh, we are only 25 pips away from there right now. Uh, any break and close below that opens up one spot 0786, but to be fair if we could just oscillate around that level 
your dollar could get um, a little bit of a rebound. So moving it on, on to GBP USD, uh, trading below one spot 57.43. Um, long legged candles, the last four sessions, uh, and we're on the wrong side of that potential support at the moment. Moving averages fast catching up. Probably one spot 56 is going to be the level where a lot of traders will relook at GBP USD. But for now, it's certainly drifting lower, uh, and it's uh, drifting lower just below this one spot 43 level which means that some technical traders might bring it down that little bit lower. So looking at some of the economic data due today, um, we have a whole host of PMI data from Germany, Eurozone and UK, ADP private payrolls. Remember that non-farm payrolls is actually uh, on Thursday, not Friday, because of the um, 4th of July holidays. And then we've got US uh, PMI and ISM manufacturing data and um, crude oil inventory. So actually there's a fair amount of economic data due in the second half of the uh, mm -hmm. afternoon today. Basically from 1.15 and onwards, ADP private payroll should be important. And uh, remember, don't miss non-farm payrolls. It's on Thursday, not Friday, because of the holidays. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.